Hi everyone, welcome back to the school year. Um, I have a request as to how do you unenroll your students and then re-enroll them, the new students, into your class. Alright, so I'll have you open up your Moodle and make sure that you have the admin turn editing on. And we'll give it just a second. Now that you have the editing on, First, I'm going to work with people who had their students in groups. So I'd like for you to click on the groups menu. And you're going to see, I've already tried this once, um, that you have students in your class. So it'll have a number right here. I want you to click on that. And we're going to unenroll those students from that course. So click the add and remove users. Now you're going to see here are the existing students, the students that are enrolled in your class. And on the other side are students that are in the database. And you're going to notice there are a lot of them. So let's get rid of the students that are in the class from last year. I'm going to click on the first name, scroll to the bottom. Holding down the shift key, I'm going to hit the last name. And I'm going to hit remove. Now you're going to notice there are no existing members in that class. Now, since there are no existing users, we need to add some. So let's go back to Groups and edit the group settings. And let's say maybe the, the period has changed or maybe the title has changed. You can change the group name anytime that you'd like. Just remember that it's always going to link to this specific Moodle that was created. Now the most important part is when you're using groups, have the students enroll with an enrollment key. It saves you a lot of time entering individual students. In this case, English 9 period 7, I gave the students ENG space 7. It's up to you if you have a space or not. I just happen to have it. So this was English and 7th period. So ENG space 7 was given to the students and then I saved changes. Now, no students are currently enrolled in that class. All I have to do is to give my students the enrollment key, and in this case it was ENG space 7, and they will automatically be added to the members of PSI. So it's a very quick and easy thing to do. Now, for those of you who did um, just basic participants or had them all enroll into the same class, We will have you go into the tab called Assigned Roles, and you want to click on Student. Now, I have 78 existing users in this course. I want you to click on the first name, go to the last name, hold the Shift key down, and click that last name. Now, hit the arrow key to remove them. This will remove every student from every class. So I guess even if you did in the groups, this would also be another example of how to do that. So right now, in English 9, there are no students enrolled in my course. And so I can go back in and assign the different roles to my course. But of course, the role that we're working on right now is students. So that is how to go back in and pretty much take out all of the students in your courses. If you choose not to use groups, remember if you go to the settings button, at the very bottom, you can choose for this not to be groups. You can go to no groups and give a generic enrollment key. In this case, it was just ENG9. This will enroll them in the course and not separate them into the groups. So it is up to you as to how you want to set up your classes. Um, but I hope that this is helpful in um, unenrolling and re-enrolling your students in your class.